everyone. All right, so my name is Tara Sharp and I am at Sacramento State. We have a couple, um, we have co-leads for OCS, but I've been taking over for the um, research side the last couple years. So last year, this is a part of a two-year study. So this, um, some of these slides were, um, some were adapted from what we did last year. So our overarching study purpose, and is, every, is everything coming across? You can see the screen, we're all good here. Okay, our overarching study purpose was um, student and faculty perspectives regarding on um, the impact of quality matters training. And we wanted to look at what we could do from, from um, how we can possibly offer future um, faculty professional development depending on this impact. And we've had quantitative data in the past, but this was uh, work, really working on inductive qualitative research. So we wanted to look at their experience with online and hybrid classes to help us determine future workshops. So we did um, this over two years and last year we focused on faculty perspectives and this year we focused on student perspective. So it was a descriptive qualitative design with interviews and focus groups. That's how we started. Um, and um, thanks to some feedback from this group, we ended up adding an option for written answers for the students to open-ended questions. And that really did help increase participation. Um, students had a hard time finding an, even, you know, even a half an hour, an hour to do an interview or focus group. So adding the, the written answers helped. Um, we really wanted to, to make sure that it was focused on um, classes that had been designed to be teach, taught online and had been influenced by Quality Matters training. So we focused on recruitment from that group, from, from faculty who participated in our Center of Teaching and Learning and had um, Quality Matters certifications. And so then we did um, this year to get more students um, recruit, we're able to recruit more from um, for other students, but it ended up that we adding the write in option, we were able to get enough participants um, by still recruiting from those quality matters approved courses. So we, we got to really focus on that and not get skewed per, um, perceptions of um, classes that maybe were not designed um, to be taught online. So um, all our participants were those QM courses. So we qualitative research, we started analyzing as we collected data and we transcribed the interviews and focus groups, but I'll show a little bit that um, we did end up doing the faculty and students different. So there's a team of us working on this. So um, I presented this last year. This is the questions we asked faculty, um, the broad open-ended questions, really um, asking them about what they thought was changed um, you know, the positive and still negative maybe aspects of how they change their course based on trainings, what recommendations they would make. And then for students, we asked them about their experience in courses. We, we really wanted to trick, um, gear in on the Quality Matters courses. We asked about the specific experiences, the interactions, and didn't use any of the QM language or, or you know, online language like standard two, but we, we talked about things that we changed like navigation technology, um, really asked broad and, and kind of open-ended questions and geared into that. So I haven't been timing myself. Okay, about half done. So um, we had eight faculty and 14 students and for both, this is the faculty uh, demographics, who they were and then the students Oh, this is still the faculty. So they um, they took, most of them had taken one course, a lot of them IYOC or APPQMR, but a few of them had their courses certified and take multiple courses. For both the faculty and the students, most were from the College of Health and Human Services. That's what HHS is. And that is because prior to this last year, which we've had a lot more certifications in different colleges that we're super excited about, prior to that, most of our Quality Matters certifications and trainings have been focused in College of Health and Human Services, nursing and social work. And so, um, and most, and so that's where most of the faculty and the students were. And then um, for the students, we had a lot of them do the, the written open-ended 
So these other colleges, arts and letters, education and social sciences and interdisciplinary studies. Those are students. So um, focusing on some of the themes for the student perspectives, they talked, so this answering the question, what, what is the perspective of students who have taken classes to be designed to taught online? They talked about the clear organization that they really liked knowing what to do. They gave a lot of examples about instructions, ex variety of activities, accessibility, and the ease of being in line and the um, ability to interact with faculty. So um, really um, lots of examples about organization, talking about modules, talking about how they really liked how um, the course was laid out. They, um, even though they didn't use terms like scaffolding, they would talk about breaking up assignments. So things that the faculty were learning, um, you could really see in their examples of what they really liked. And then the rubrics or knowing what to do, the clear instructions, um, there's a lot of comments about that. So um, I'm, I know I'm kind of low on time, so I'm gonna skip through these other um, themes and just kind of explain that when we compared the, the student themes with the faculty themes, um, a few of them overlapped a little bit. So the clear organization, which I just showed, and then the um, the instructions, those um, detailed instructions, both the faculty really commented a lot about the fact that they provided a lot more detail in their rubrics and their instructions, and the students really picked up on that. One of the big things for faculty was uh, accessibility. Students didn't really talk about that, but they did kind of comment a little bit on universal design aspects about like clear layout and organization. Um, but engagement, that was something that faculty kind of wanted more of. They wanted to, they still felt that was an area they, they didn't quite see as much, but the students talked about their ability to interact in line with faculty as, as more of a, a positive thing so um, that they could see it more in those quality matters courses. So um, if our challenges were, were it, we did get data saturation um, and a lot of the, the even overlaps in the themes of the two groups, but um, doing them differently, faculty and student different, we, I'd, I'd like to go back to faculty to get some more perspectives here and certainly more from different colleges. It was really focused a lot on HHS. Um, and, but this really helps, especially like with the engagement, the things that are working well, it's really nice to have these qualitative perspectives when we, when we work with administration and faculty to encourage professional development that students really found those things positive. So I think I'm at time. about two and a half more minutes so if you want to maybe speak oh, do I? To, um like next steps or where are you continuing the research from here to expand it or extend yeah yeah so we're um we are using we are focusing on um and I, i've spoken about this a little bit in um the ocs group that um our our future professional development, which was kind of a plan for this, um, is going to focus on modules and self-paced modules where faculty can can take certain aspects of QM training. And so um, highlighting the ones that students found really important, the organization, the layout, and um, the engagement aspects. So we're really going to highlight that and we're going to be able to use the results of the study, the student feedback to really show that. Um, that in, in combination with the quantitative data but that we had that students were satisfied with these QM courses that qualitatively, these are the aspects they focus on. So hopefully that's gonna help our marketing and getting encouragement with future um, development. And um, as far as future studies on this, where um, this, this next year we're, we're gonna go to, um, <laughs> Uh, let's see. We we do. I do want to get a little bit more data, and so I think we might try recruiting again from faculty from different colleges to see if if, if these themes continue. But um, lots of research questions in my head, so I'm not sure where to focus yet. Yeah. No, very exciting. Thank you so much. Uh, very well done, and I will stop the recording.